I'm not. He's shitting through the Iron Eagle down there like that. <laughs> Seriously, I'm only up here because I couldn't afford a ticket to sit down there. You know? uh, so listen, I've been hung over for about a week. And I've come to a conscious decision that I'm not drinking anymore. Hooray! I ain't drinking any less. <laughs> so, drinking <laughs> so I'm laying on the couch the other day and I thought I'm going to nurture my hangover with a nice bit of daytime television. You know what I mean? Just chill out, turn it on. What comes on? Jeremy Kyle. Oh. It's got to be the most depressing wank I've ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I stand, seriously. <laughs> I stand there, I'm looking at you, and do you know what? The, my most favourite thing about Jeremy Carr is the characters that co come, come onto it. They're all from up north. A pair of Reebok workout trainers on all dirty, no tick. They're either from like Liverpool, Newcastle, way hey, man, fucking dirty. <laughs> oh, my favourite new, I love the Geordies, so it's my favourite. Do you remember the narrator from Big Brother? 945. <laughs> um, Brian's in the smoking area feeding the chickens. <laughs> But my favourite, my favourite, my favourite who comes out has got to be the Scottish on Jeremy Carl. Because they've got a bit of dignity left. They've got three teeth left. You know what I mean? They come out, and all you'll get is like, you'll get someone called Damien comes out like this, from Scotland. <laughs> Jeremy comes out and he sits on his little step and he like that. He goes, come on, tell us. Tell us what's wrong. What's wrong? Come on, we're all nosy bastards. Tell us. I love the way, I love the way Jeremy Carl, in one sentence, cuts someone the fuck down and then gives them a compliment straight off. You're nothing but a lazy, no good, drug taking moron. But you've admitted it. <laughs> and for that you have my respect, sir. Back on, he comes back on, Damien. Well, Jeremy, started about two years ago. <laughs> Why do Scottish people do that as well? They talk with their hands and feet. Well, hey, Jeremy. Well, what you're doing, you must be a candy. Do you want to give you a candy, master? Fucking hell. I said, no, I was here, they all started about two weeks ago. I said, no, I don't know, no more. I've been smacking her up the fire for about two years. And all of a sudden, the police, she doesn't want to know, and I want to know why. And Jeremy comes back out and he starts going, come on, let's not judge her before she comes down. It's two sides to every story. <laughs> let's not boo her. Let's find out. Let's, let's hear it for the woman of the moment. The woman who's now stopped shagging Damien. Damien's mum. <laughs> it's what it is, it's like aunties, brothers, sisters, like that. <laughs> so I turn that right off, that, that one out the window. Like that. <laughs> well, I ain't having none of that no more. So my mate rings me up and I thought, he goes, come, come down the pub, blah, 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 come for a hair with a dog. I thought, fuck me, if I never another hair with a dog, I'll be opening a kennel. <laughs> So I go down there and I get down the pub, <coughs> I stand there, starts drawing into night, you know what I mean? The, the music starts playing and I start dancing like a Greek from Enfield. <laughs> you know, all that shit. And then I catch this girl's eye in the corner and she's like looking at me, I'm looking at her, we're giving her all that shit, you know what I mean? We're giving her all the fucking... <laughs> Ladies, please, I want one of you to explain to me why the fuck you have to do the five different facial expressions of dancing when a bloke looks at you. It just makes you look as ugly as fuck. Number one, bite the lip. Number two, hide the lip. Number three, the big O.
Number four, the broken jaw. <laughs> and the best one, number five, the shock face. Like that. <laughs> and then, and then, you fuckers have to try and entwine it all into one go. See like that? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Off with a little song. You want a song? You want a song? <laughs> this is a song, right? I heard two of my female friends talking about. <laughs> it's called Knob Cheese. <laughs> I don't get it, I don't get it. So I've got a minge. And uh, it goes sort of uh, something like this. I play the guitar as well. <laughs> So boys, take heed. <laughs> You can get it in between your toes You can get it out the side and damage your nose But the most common place is the wood To be more precise, hidden under the hood Come on, girl, clean it, please Cos he's got enough cheese <laughs> Now girls, they've got a different wish They wish to rid that smell of things When a bush looks like it needs a brush And an itchy and scratchy case of the brush but Come on, girl, you like to say Top of the block, next door to the man with a rotten cock And I'd hate to see inside his gap I bet the cat has even called the rash Someone, come on, a victim please Cos he's not enough cheese <laughs> And I feel so sorry for his kids Their little pants, they must be full of skids I bet they used to get beaten up at school And you know, kids can be so cross 